Hi, I'm Daniel Foley from the Ben Life Training Center, and welcome to our monthly message for July of 2023, which is being bold leads to God's best. So this year in 2023, our message for the year is God saved the best until now. And that's coming from when Jesus turned the water into wine. And I want to do a little quick recap of last month in June. We talked about walking in God's best today. We talked about walking with God. Walking with God. If we'll walk in God's ways, we're going to follow his path. We're going to follow in his footsteps. We can follow in the footsteps of the faith of Abraham. We can follow in the footsteps of Jesus. And then Abraham and Solomon were both told not only to walk with God, to walk in his ways, but also to walk before him, to walk before his face and to be perfect, to be blameless, to be whole or complete. And we said one of the ways that the Apostle Paul became holy and righteous and blameless with the people was that he worked day and night. He worked night and day. But it wasn't God, it wasn't Paul working, it was God's energy and power so powerfully working within him. As we begin to walk with God in our life, we start going with him, we start walking with him, we continue with him. We begin to walk before him, we walk, begin to walk in maturity, wholeness, completeness, allowing God's grace and power to flow through us. We begin to walk before him, to become perfect and blameless. He begins to establish us in strength. He begins to establish us and make us strong in this new covenant that we have, this covenant of grace and love and peace and forgiveness. It begins to get this place where God establishes a stronghold. It gives us rest from the enemy. The enemy begins to cease and desist in our life. Let's take a look at some scriptures on being bold today. So Proverbs 28.1. It says the righteous are bold as a lion. And who's the righteous? If you believe in Jesus, you've been made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And that word for bold in the original Hebrew can be translated as trust. Or confidence. Where does this boldness come from? It comes from trust and confidence in God. Hebrews 4.16 tells us to boldly come to the throne of grace. Some versions say confidently come to the throne of grace. So we might find help in our time of need. In Acts chapter 4 verse 30, it says the disciples prayed and asked God to help him to help them speak the word of God with more boldness, with great boldness. And it says God answered their prayer. When they prayed and asked for help in speaking his word boldly, and keep in mind, they were under some serious threats during that time, that God answered that prayer. The place was shaken, and they began to speak his word with boldness. Acts chapter 14, verse 3, it says, So Paul and Barnabas spent considerable time there, speaking boldly for the Lord. And when they did that, what happened? He confirmed the message of his grace by enabling them to perform signs and wonders. Acts 28, verse 31 says, The apostle Paul proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus with all boldness and without hindrance. And so what we see here, we see a, a, a pattern. When we speak God's word boldly, God begins to go to work. He performs signs. He becomes wonders. He performs wonders. He begins to eliminate the hindrances. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 12, it says, Since we have such a hope, we are very bold. And hope goes back to trusting again. Hope goes back to confidence and trust again. When we have trust and confidence in God, that he's going to back his word, we can speak his word with boldness. And so we're going to pray a little prayer today, asking God to help us to speak his word with boldness, just like the disciples did. Because being bold, I believe, leads to his best. And so, Heavenly Father, we're just so grateful. Grateful to have you in our lives. We thank you for Jesus, that through him you've released us from darkness. You've transferred us into the light. We get to walk in this kingdom of Jesus. You've given us purpose and grace in Christ Jesus before time ever began. He was struck down, smitten bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed all so that we could be connected to you, that you could be fighting for us. And Father, we're asking for your help today. Help us speak your word with great boldness so that we walk in your best. And we, and the disciples in that prayer, they asked you to stretch out your hand, to heal and do signs and wonders after they spoke that word boldly. 
And we ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say, so, Father, we thank you on the night Jesus was betrayed. He took the bread. And he said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, you laid upon Jesus the punishment that we deserved. And by his stripes have been healed. He was crushed and destroyed by you, smitten by you. So that we could be right and holy and perfect in your sight. And you raised him up from the dead and you seated him at your right hand. And you raised us up together with him and made us sit together with him. And we get this opportunity today to remember we've been made one with you through the sacrifice of Jesus. And so I thank you for this bread and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. And he said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, pour it out for the forgiveness of sins for many. And it's the forgiveness of sins that released us from darkness and transferred us into the light. We could have this covenant relationship with you, Father. And so I thank you for this cup and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our juice. All right, so our filter for this month. And our filters are short things that we write at the top of our journal or workbook every night as a way to keep these things top of mind. But our filter for this month, be bold. Be bold. Have that reminder every day. But I hope this has been up for you today. If you'd like to be a part of what we're doing, you can go to the Abundant Life Training Center.com.